first of all, a couple of special awards. Um, the first one, I've mentioned him a few times tonight. Um, uh, young Matt sat behind the computers over there. Come in over the round of applause for Matt. He's been brilliant tonight, on Matt. And uh, also, uh, another gentleman has been mentioned quite a few times tonight. And we do really appreciate everything Paul does. I'd just like him to come and accept this gift on behalf of the club. Thanks, Paul. Absolutely brilliant. Just a quick mention for uh, Pete Cockanoo from the, the Blue Hill Fish Bar, giving a plug there. Um, sponsored us quite heavily this season. Just like to give him something special. Pete, can you come up, please? Thanks, thanks to you and to all the, um, all the club sponsors. A uh, miniature special award. Um, I did mention earlier in the Players' Awards that uh, there is a young man who's played nearly 200 consecutive games. It will be probably the next game, I think. 200 sec consecutive games. He's never missed a game. He's never missed a training session. And it's a massive achievement for somebody of this age. Sorry about that. Liam Burley. <laughs> Special awards tonight, the Sportsman of the Year. I think uh, Jamie and Dave have explained this quite uh, rightly. Um, for a sportsman, the, the managers are looking for somebody who pays attention, um, never gives them a hard time, uh, is attentive it, when, you, when you're actually playing the game, he listens to you, but he also contributes back. Um, this young man quite often comes to me on the side and he'll bring forward suggestions and uh, quite welcome it. Uh, so he's uh, been with the club three years now. Um, he's a giant defender. Uh, I've just got to say it's Adam Bishop. <laughs> Playing for the sun. Thanks, mate. Very good, your man. Just what, what do you think about Notts County's season? <laughs> Rubbish! Sorry, Dad. Hold well on, Adam. Adam. Okay, um, as uh, we've said before, the most improved player. Um, when, when you have a team for seven years, uh, there's only slight improvement. I, I think um, that all the lads play at quite a high level. Um, but I think I just picked one out uh, this year, the most improved player. I think the main reason is because the, his understanding of the role we ask him to play in the football team has uh, developed this year, and I think it's, it's paid dividends. Um, he's a midfielder, and quite often we've, we've explained that midfielders have probably got the hardest job on the pitch. They have to defend, they have to attack, they expect to score goals, they expect to stop goals. But uh, this season he's learnt. Um, he always tries to improve, improve, improve every match. Um, he always tries to please everybody. The main improvement has probably been the goal scoring area uh, with eight goals this season and lots of trickery. It's Alex Galloway. What's the highlight been in your season? Um, over here. <laughs> God, you've gone all shy now. You're always speaking. You're making a shut up. Come on, say something. Um, I just enjoyed the season, but I don't know. So, who's your favourite football player then? Rooney. <laughs> well, I haven't finished with you yet. <laughs> I think you're going to tell us a joke in a bit, aren't you? <laughs> what call it do you with I hope it's clean. 
Sorry, can't do it, it's embarrassing. Hold on, Alex. Okay, the uh, third award is, uh, I think it's one, as we've said before, is the most respected amongst the players themselves. And it's a considerable honour. And we talk about players in the Premier League, like, as Alex mentioned, Ronaldo, Rooney, etc., etc., Stevie Gerrard. Uh, the, the, uh, it goes to the player most respected by his teammates. Um, this player, I think he thoroughly deserves it. He's liked by everyone. Um, he's an outstanding defender with a fierce shot, starting to score goals this season as well. But every manager we play against, funny enough, has always asked me if he's available for transfer, uh, but we'll never let him go. It's Andreas Kokanu. question for you. I mentioned it last year but I didn't get a chance to ask you. Your dad's listening. Okay, if you, and I think you will be, good enough to play international football, which country would you pick? Would you pick Greece? Would you pick Cyprus? Or would you pick England? Probably England. Well done, mate. <laughs> okay, Sports Player of the Year. Um, I think I agree with you all this year. Um, it's not, again, there's not a lot you can say. Uh, if you watch this player, he's an absolute natural. Um, you'd have to can't comment on his, his outstanding ability for his age. He's had a, he's had a year with a, uh, a professional football club and uh, we were lucky enough to get him back. And he's, he's probably, for his age, no disrespect to any other goalkeeper in the room. He's probably the best goalkeeper I've ever seen. It's Luke Cook. Who's your favourite goalkeeper and who do you model yourself on? Uh, probably Edwin Van der Sar. Edwin Van der Sar. Well done Luke, you just like him, well done. Well. Okay, uh, one more then I'll get off. Uh, let Paul talk again. Um, manager's player of the year. Um, I've got 14 stars, no doubt about it. Um, you have to pick one every year. Um, this year... I didn't really hesitate to give it to this player. I thought it followed his progress all season. Um, it's been an awesome season. It's by far the best. I think the difference this season is managed to channel his natural aggression and passion into becoming a com complete midfielder. I rewarded him this season. Uh, I've given him the vice captaincy. I think he's very much deserved it. It's Jack Upsby. Do you think Man United will actually lose a few points and Liverpool's going to win this title, aren't they? Yes! Yes! Well done, mate. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you.